Africa is a place rich in incredible and surprising discoveries that continue to astonish scientists to this day. These discoveries are so astounding that if not mentioned, no one would believe them. So, in this video, we will delve into 10 things that scientists have discovered in Africa that have shocked the world. If you're here for the first time, subscribe to the channel by clicking the notification bell and leave a thumbs up before starting the video. Let's begin. Homo naledi, a new human species discovered. In 2013, cave explorers in South Africa made a groundbreaking discovery in the remote chamber of the Rising Star Cave System, a treasure trove of bones belonging to a new human species named Homo naledi. This discovery redefined our understanding of human evolution. The bones of Homo naledi exhibited both primitive and advanced characteristics, suggesting coexistence with Homo sapiens. Despite the small brain, the hands and feet of Homo naledi indicated remarkable object manipulation abilities, suggesting complex behaviors and a possible social structure similar to ours. However, the exact age of Homo naledi remains a mystery, with dating estimates ranging around 300,000 years. Blue Hole of Dahab, the Blue Hole of Death. Along the Red Sea coast in Egypt lies a natural wonder that has fascinated divers and adventurers for generations. Known as the Blue Hole, this underwater sinkhole boasts a depth of over 300 feet, surrounded by sheer rock walls plunging into the clear waters below. Not for the faint-hearted, the Blue Hole has gained a reputation as one of the most dangerous diving spots in the world, with estimated casualties reaching up to 200 in recent years. Among these victims was Yuri Lipsky, a diving instructor whose tragic fate in the year 2000 became a subject of discussion. Despite the risks, the Blue Hole continues to attract adventurers from around the world, eager to challenge their limits and discover the unknown. Ghostly Trees of Dead Vlay In the Namib Desert, there lies a place that seems to have stepped out of a surreal painting, Dead Vlay, a stretch of white clay where ancient dead trees stand, charred by the relentless African sun. 900 years ago, Dead Vlay was a thriving oasis, teeming with life and vitality, but the dry climate and desert expansion led to its transformation into a dead marsh. Towering sand dunes have cut off the valley from its water source, causing the death of the lush forest and leaving only tree skeletons standing like ghostly silhouettes against the sky. The arid climate has prevented the decomposition of the trees, preserving them as haunting memories of the past. Dead Vlay has attracted photographers and adventurers from around the world for its eerie beauty. Discovery of a new continent and ocean. In the heart of East Africa, in Ethiopia, lies a fascinating geological phenomenon, the separation of Africa. The Afar region where this event occurs is a crossroads of three constantly moving tectonic plates, the Nubian, Arabian, and Somali. Here, the Earth's crust is thin, allowing magma to emerge, creating volcanoes, hot springs, and geysers. In 25, a 35-mile-long fissure formed in the East African Rift Valley, indicating the imminent division of the continent. Scientists predict that over millions of years, Africa will split into two, forming a new ocean between East Africa and the Arabian Peninsula. This could give rise to new coastlines for countries like Kenya and Uganda. Discovery of the Dinosaur in Zimbabwe. In the wild and remote land of Zimbabwe, a team of scientists undertook two expeditions in 2017 and 2019, uncovering the remains of Africa's oldest dinosaur, Mbirosaurus rathi. This discovery, resulting from years of hard work and research, represented a milestone in paleontology. The name Mbirosaurus comes from the local Shona language, where the fossils were found, while the species name Rathi is a tribute to paleontologist Michael Rath, who first reported the fossils in the region. It is estimated that Mabirosaurus Rathi roamed the Earth over 230 million years ago during the Jurassic period. This small herbivorous dinosaur 
about 680 inches long and weighing around 60 pounds, had a slender body and a long neck that allowed it to reach vegetation, even in the most rugged terrain. The Eye of the Sahara and the Lost City of Atlantis The Richat structure, or the Blue Eye of the Sahara, is a geological wonder found in the vast Sahara Desert in Mauritania. This extraordinary landmark has puzzled scientists and intrigued adventurers for decades. It measures approximately 31 miles in diameter, making it one of the largest and most striking structures visible from space. The center of the structure is a raised plateau that rises over 590 feet above the desert floor, surrounded by concentric rings of rock that form a series of ridges and valleys, giving the structure the appearance of a giant target. Some speculate that the structure may be the remains of the legendary lost city of Atlantis mentioned by Plato. Although this theory is not supported by concrete evidence, it remains fascinating. Alien Blue Stone Imagine holding in your hand a stone said to come from the sky. This is the story of the strange blue stones that Italian geologist and archaeologist Angelo Pitoni obtained from a Fulani chief in Sierra Leone, West Africa. According to the tribe, the stones were given by extraterrestrial visitors. When Pitoni brought them to Europe for analysis, it was found that they were unique and did not match any known mineral. Despite thorough testing, the blue color of the stones remained unexplained. Pitoni called them stones of the sky, suggesting that they were unlike any other gemstone. Where did they come from? Were they an alien gift, or did they hold secrets of ancient forgotten civilizations? Discovery of the Unidentified Heads of Leidenberg, South Africa. In 1957, a young boy, Karl Ludwig, playing on his father's farm, made an extraordinary discovery. The Leidenberg Heads, some of the earliest examples of Iron Age art in the Southern Hemisphere. After careful excavation, seven heads were reconstructed two large and five small. Six of them depict human features, while the seventh has animal traits. Dating back to around 490 AD, they are believed to have been used for ceremonies, with small holes for attaching them to poles or costumes during performances. Today, these extraordinary heads are on display at the South African Museum in Cape Town. The Sahara Desert Located in Africa, it is the world's largest hot desert, covering an enormous area of approximately 3,500,000 square miles. But perhaps you don't know that about 11,000 years ago, this region was not always so arid and desolate. During that time, the Sahara was a vast green savanna, rich in lakes, rivers and lush grasslands, populated by a variety of animals, including hippos, antelopes, and elephants. This change occurred due to fluctuations in the Earth's orbit, which altered how solar radiation penetrated the Earth's atmosphere. However, about 5,000 years ago, the Sahara began to become arid and desert-like again, likely due to geographic factors independent of human action. Despite its current desolation, there is hope that in the future, the Sahara may once again transform into a green and fertile area. Tong's Child In 1924, some workers in the Tong Quarry, South Africa, made an epical discovery. They found the fossilized skull of a child, known as Tong's Child. This artifact was brought to the attention of Raymond Dart, who identified it as belonging to a new species of hominid, Australopithecus africanus, who lived approximately 2.8 million years ago. This discovery challenged the prevailing idea that primitive human ancestors originated in Europe, providing instead evidence to the contrary, Africa as the birthplace of humanity. Subsequent discoveries of Australopithecus fossils in South Africa have further supported this theory, confirming that Tong's child was indeed a primitive human ancestor. And thus, our journey comes to an end but it will not be the last. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. Until the next adventure.